Welcome to episode two of the Blue Collar Coder Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jahur on Twitter. So in this one, we're going to learn how to build out your HTML in a React app using what's called JSX and the little gotchas that make it eh, not too tough, but you know, you got to look out for those sort of things. So without further ado, let's go jump into the code. So to figure out how to make HTML in our React app, we're going to go and edit the app.js component. So let's open up app.js. So the first thing that I do after creating a React app is to take out a lot of stuff. I'm going to go and take out almost all of this HTML and take it down to just one div. As we can see, we no longer need the logo, so we can remove that. So we'll just have, at this point, the CSS that we would use on the page and this div. Now to create our Pokemon search app, we're going to start with creating an H1. So I'm just going to put an H1 in here and say Pokemon search. Now we'll start the app. And we can see that now we have a blank page with Pokemon search in there. And it's nice and big and bold because it's an H1. And if we go over to the CSS, we can then remove all the CSS that's there. And let's define a new class and call it title. And we'll just say that we want the text align center. And we'll head back over into the JS. And then say that the class name is title. And this is something that trips people up when they're first learning React, is that you don't say class in React, you say class name. And that's because of how JSX, which is this extension to JavaScript that allows us to put HTML tags into our source code, manages or converts this JSX code into JavaScript. In JavaScript, you can't say the class of an element. You can't do dot class. You have to say class name. And so that's why you have to say class name in this context is that this is actually being converted to JavaScript for you. And in JavaScript, you got to say class name in order to specify the class. Another gotcha is around styling. So in HTML, we're used to defining styles as a property, right? Quote, and then some properties with dashes in it. It's different in React. So in React, you use an object. And you do that by opening up curly braces. And that escapes you back into JavaScript. And then you create an object. So you create another set of curly braces. So you end up with nested curly braces. In this case, I'm going to say that the margin is auto. And that's going to put the entire contents of this page kind of into the center of the page. I'm going to say that the width of the page is 800 pixels. And now I could do that as a string, like I'm doing that here. But in React, it's more common to use just an integer value. When React sees an integer value for a property, a style property, it translates that into pixels. And then finally, I'm going to say that we want some padding on the top of one rem. Now, you can't really use dashes when you're doing an object in JavaScript. You can, but it's, it's not as easy. You have to put quotes around it. So instead, in React, we camel case CSS properties that have dashes in them. So in this case, it's padding, capital T, top. And so you can see that that's moved it down a little bit. Now in our application, we're going to search for Pokemon and we're going to create a table of that. So let's go and create a table. We'll set it with 100. Add a TR. Add a TD. And now we right click on that page and we go into the inspector. We actually get a warning. And that warning is telling us that the table isn't properly specified. Now you might be like, what? That looks like a good table to me. Well, it actually turns out that it's not quite 
perfect HTML. What it's saying is that we need a T body tag, and that's going to be the body of the table. So let's add that in there. And we'll just wrap that row in that T body. And then we'll create another tag called T head, and that will have the header section. And just copy and paste in the existing row, change out our TDs and convert them to THs. In this case, I'm using the extend selection command in VS Code. You grab the first TD and then on Mac, you do command D three more times and that extends the selection to all of the TDs in this row. And then you just type in your replacement value. So in this case, TH. And it's very easy to make kind of bulk changes that way. So now let's change out the header to name and type. And that looks really nice. And we can go back into our CSS and say that we want all of our headers aligned on the left and a little bit larger. And that works just fine. You just save and immediately you receive the results. All right, well, as you can see, React makes it pretty easy to just kind of copy and paste in your HTML code and then fix up things like class and class name and then the styles. But otherwise, it's pretty amenable to making whatever kind of HTML you want. Okay, as always, click on that newsletter link down below, subscribe to the newsletter, like and share the video if you feel so inclined, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe if you really like the video, ask any questions or comments down below in the comment section. And of course, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.